At campaign headquarters, activists are making final preparations for their anti-Trump protests. The Stop Trump Coalition is planning what it describes as a carnival of resistance, with protests taking place across the country, starting as soon as the US president lands in the UK. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, another group of activists are inflating a giant balloon, depicting Trump as a snarling baby, complete with tiny hands and a nappy. Officials had initially denied the group permission to fly their Trump baby blimp. But after more than 10,000 people signed a petition, the balloon's flight was approved and the giant Trump baby will now fly over Parliament on Friday when the US president is meeting British Prime Minister Theresa May. I am the least racist person. The anti-Trump protests also have a theme tune. British political band Captain Scar have released a Trump remix of their hit song Liar Liar, which the group said was originally about Theresa May. The US president is largely avoiding the capital and steering well clear of the demonstrations, but protest organisers say their message will still get through. And I'm absolutely sure that he will be watching it and looking at it, and um, I'm sure he'll tell us exactly what he thinks um, on Twitter. Um, but in many ways, I don't care so much what he thinks. What I care about is that those who are on the front line of protesting against him in America feel um, that they have support from around the world. They're in the firing line. Um, and also that our own government doesn't feel it's acceptable to normalise and legitimise the way Trump talks and the types of things he's done. Around 100,000 people are expected at Friday's main anti-Trump protest. The British government is rolling out the red carpet for the US president, but on the streets, he'll be getting a far less welcoming reception. Kate Parkinson, CGTN, London.